Guess what time it is? Time for another great vegan recipe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel now before you forget. That's at Fat Vegan Chef. Thank you. Today I'll be making a twist on a classic fragrant British Indian dish, chicken tiki masala. My version will use vegan chicken with lentils and spinach. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. Go there for the recipe and to follow along. Are you ready? Let's get started. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, a blender, a spice grinder or a mortar and pistol, measuring cups and measuring spoons, can opener, a couple of saute pans or saute pan and a cooking pot, a mixing spoon and a rubber spatula. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are for the masala paste what we'll need is one and a half teaspoons of cumin seeds, one and a half teaspoons of whole coriander seeds, two pieces of ginger that's been minced, one to three tablespoons of red pepper flakes this depends upon how hot you want it. One um, tablespoon of smoked paprika. Two teaspoons of gar masala. One teaspoon of sea salt. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. And a bunch of cilantro leaves. Alright, for the main dish itself, what we will need is one package of your favorite vegan chicken strips that are diced. This is the Beyond Meat grilled version and I chose that just for the flavor. One tablespoon of coconut oil. One small red onion that's been diced. Two cloves of garlic that's been minced. One third cup of the masala paste which we will be making. One cup of stewed tomatoes. One can of coconut milk. One half cup of lentils. And two bushels of spinach that's been washed and stemmed. We're going to go ahead and build our masala paste now. First thing we want to do is dry roast our cumin and coriander seeds. We're going to do this until you can start smelling the smell of the seeds come out. This should only take a couple minutes here. And this is about medium or medium high heat. Okay, that's about good. You start smelling the fragrance of the oil coming through. We're going to go ahead and put these back in the thing. And we're going to go ahead and grind these up. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grind these spices up. And add these to your spice grinder or your mortar and pistol. And just start crunching away so they're a nice fine paste. Okay, now that we have these ground up pretty good, what we're going to do is go ahead and add the sea salt in there and the red pepper flakes. I'm going to go ahead and grind these up a little bit more. Now that we've got these ground up, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and continue with the blender. First thing we want to do is go ahead and add these ground spices to the blender. And then we're going to add the remainder of dry spices of the um, tiki masala, to, um, the uh, paprika, and we're going to go ahead and give this a whirl for a second. Next we're going to go ahead and add our ginger. Give that a whirl. Now we'll add our olive oil and our tomato paste. Now that we've got those ingredients put together, what we'll do is go ahead and add our cilantro.
this is what the masala paste is going to look like when it's done blending. Let's go ahead and cook our tiki masala. Now what we will do is cook our chicken tiki masala. Preheat your pan to, um, in a medium, medium high heat. Add your coconut oil. And then we're going to cook our red onions. We're going to cook them until they're translucent. The onions are starting to turn translucent. So what we'll do is go ahead and add our garlic and the chicken. And we'll let this saute for a few minutes. Let the uh, garlic uh, flavors come out. Next what we'll do is add one third cup of the masala paste. Well, this, we will let this cook for a few minutes more. Next, add the stewed tomatoes and the coconut milk. And we'll mix these together and then we'll bring this up to a boil. Now that this is boiling, we will add our lentils and we'll stir this in and we'll cook this for 20 to 25 minutes and then we'll uh, add our spinach. It looks like our lentils are done cooking, so let's go ahead and add our spinach. This in here. And we'll fold this in until it's nice and uh, wilted. That looks good. Let's go ahead and plate. All right, what we're going to do now is plate this fragrant dish. I've cooked up some naan or some flat bread, which you can do alternately. And I'm just going to put in a couple scoops of this right on top. Just like that. Doesn't that look good? I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If so, please like and share this video. And let me know in the comments how this dish turned out if you made it. Please remember that my videos will only be on my channel, Fat Vegan Chef. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy.